Miss Mixed Media Girl here. So, um, I have an idea for a project. It totally may or may not work. But if you're like me, you don't like to throw things away. So I collect all of these leftover pieces of resin that I peel off the table after doing projects. And they're really cool. And I've used them for a few different things, like in mixed media projects and stuff. But I had another idea, which is to blend them up into little pieces and then put them with some clear resin and make some really cool coasters. So that's what we're gonna try to do. I had a friend that was throwing away this blender and so it's not the one for my kitchen. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but we're gonna give it a go. Whoopsie. Okay guys, I think the blender did pretty well. Um, it definitely had some difficulty with the softer pieces. So there's still some fairly big pieces in here that I'll probably just cut up with some scissors. But we're gonna go ahead and get our clear resin mixed up. We're using the Stone Coat Countertops uh, countertop epoxy and then we'll make our coasters. All right, guys, so for at least one of these, I'm gonna go ahead and pour resin in and then mix it all up. I'm trying to think of just kind of the best way to do this and not get a bunch of air bubbles. So if we put the pieces in there and pour the resin on there, we'll get air bubbles. So let's try this. No guarantees on the workability. Can you hand me one more cup down there? One more cup. Cupping right up. Yeah. So this isn't reaching all the way down to the bottom. So I'm getting another cup. A little resin in here. This is something I've been wanting to try for so long. Just trying to think of how to use these extra resin pieces. All right, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in here. Babe, do you have gloves on? I do. Oh, good. Um, do you wanna kind of smooth it out? Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure all the pieces are fully in there. Fully in the mold, sure. Yeah. So we have filled these up. I left a little room in each of them to put a, a little clear layer over it later. So we're going to go ahead and let these dry and then we'll put a, a clear layer over and I'll show you how they look complete. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, these look, I think these look awesome. All right, so we'll see you then. All right, guys, we're back. Some of these I do still have to put some more resin in, but these two are ready to be peeled out. Um, as you can see... It's still not a perfectly flat top. There's little parts sticking up here. So that's going to be something that I have to work on. Um, putting, I think I just need to put less pieces in there. I think I got a little too excited. But look how cool that looks. And that's just using up my leftover resin pieces. I am like crazy excited about this. So here's number two. And even the... Even though there's parts sticking up a little bit, it's not enough, I think, to even be an issue. Um, it won't, like, knock over a cup or anything, and it's not sharp. So I think these are just super 
duper awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll definitely be doing some more of these. I'll be kind of perfecting the process. If anyone has any good ideas for how to chop these pieces up even better, because I think that blender is going to break <laughs> pretty soon. It's not really meant to hold up to such strain, but who knows? Uh, let me know. And otherwise, I will see you all next time.